What's up guys, my name is Yosas. I'm a sales manager for a company called Funding Circle, which is a fintech company. So the session I ran was four ways to make a habit stick. And I think that habits are one of those things that, you know, when you st when it's a new year, everyone is like really excited. They start going to the gym, they say, I'm gonna save more. But they create all these new habits. But what typically happens after like a couple of months, you just tend to like sort of digress back into the same mode of behavior. So the session really encompassed how can we make a habit stick? So if we say we're gonna exercise, how can we make that consistent over the year? If we say we're gonna read more books, how can we make that consistent? So the principles I was talking about is from Atomic Habits by James Clear. And it talks about a four step process, make it obvious, make it satisfying, make it easy and make it attractive. So by using those four steps that anyone can just take a very simple habit and make it stick and it's all about the small steps so if you're gonna you know do a habit you do it for two minutes and it's more about the consistency rather than the progress that you're making so habit building for leaders is important because we have the leaders have to lead by example so if they want their team to act in a consistent way they also need to act in a consistent way and if you think about a leader they have a vision that needs to be executed but that vision can't be executed in one day or one week or one month so it's like the consistent actions that they take every day so whether that's coaching whether that's you know, personal development, reading books, um, whether that's inspiring the team, they need to come up with processes that can enable them to do that. And I think, you know, good things take time. So you can't build a house in a day, but you can lay a brick at a time. So like habit formation is like laying, each day when you perform an action, you're laying a brick. And over time you build a house. So that's kind of like the same analogy that, you know, I like to use. So I think it's important for these spaces to be created because you don't really get an opportunity to come to events like this all the time. And I don't know too much of like organizations like this. And I think coming together and meeting like-minded people, um, but also like sharing your ideas, learning from other people. Cause I feel, I feel like, you know, we are so used to what we're doing, but when you get a different perspective from someone else, you can sort of use that to, to better your life. And I just think the power of a community and more like the opportunities that you can get from it. So I met Victor at a completely different retreat. I had no idea that he was doing this valuable community. Um, but if I didn't go to that retreat, I would have never met Victor. So it's kind of like the importance of community and sort of connecting to find out what everyone does and that can lead to more opportunities. So for the person watching this who's thinking, should I come to the valuable retreat? hundred percent. Because I think it's one of those things that you can't be worse off if you come and you'll definitely enjoy it. Like you meet new people, you learn new skills and you just go away feeling more confident and empowered. So I think a combination of three of those things is definitely worth investing the money. Be great.